What is up, guys? Angel X113 here. <laughs> Today I'm gonna say two creepy stories that I made up. Number one, <laughs> the clown chasing us. I was having fun in the Halloween night with my friends. We were walking down Colfax and it was getting pretty dark. The trick or treaters were starting to go away. We were planning to get our bags full until we saw this man dress up as a clown. He really stayed still. Until we started walking like to the street, he started following us. My friends were starting to get freaked out. I never really liked clowns. We started getting more farther into the street and so did he. We went behind a, a tree and, and we knocked on the house. I was just waiting in the street. Until we walked to the street, he walked. He let us go by him for some reason. Until we were like maybe two miles away away. And then he caught up. We were running, but he caught up to us by speed walking. Until he brought out an axe for blood. I never knew if it was real or not. And then we were running to Brett's house. And then when we made it inside Brett's house, we heard a window break. Brett's mom called the police, and then nothing never happened. The guy had been caught, but I just want to know something. Was this just a prank, just going more farther than ever? Or was it real? Starting off on number two, the last one. Ghost face at my house. I was home alone, waiting for my parents to come back. It was just 30 minutes away, I had to wait 30 minutes. During those 30 minutes, like one minute after I'm done calling with my mom, the door knocks. I was just assuming it was my cousin, but it wasn't. I opened the door, no one was there. Then I, my, I heard a knock on my window. I wanted to open it so bad, but I got so freaked out. And then I ran upstairs, turned off the TV, turned off the lights downstairs, ran upstairs. He couldn't see me because my curtains were like really dark. You could never see through them. But like two minutes later after that, I locked my door and everything. I called my mom. She said to stay in my room and lock it. I was, and then my door swung right open. As me and 11 year old, I was really scared, I was panicking. I called the police and they just said stay on the line. Then I had the secret room in my closet that was detectable, but not that detectable because it was covered by clothes and scooters and skateboards. Until I opened it, he was coming right upstairs. So I ran to turn off the lights and go in there. Then it was quiet. My door actually opened pretty easily. It just slammed open. And he was searching all over in the closet doors. I heard it, all everything. He moved the skateboards and everything. He found the circuit room. He needed a key, but he, you can just break it. Like in two minutes. He was trying to rip the fabric, the, the wall paint off of it. Until we heard sirens and lights coming out from the window and they said freeze. The guy actually managed to get away and then two weeks later on the news, there was a man that looked just like him. And I don't know if there was a, a break-in or just a prank. See you guys in the next video. Bye.